Uh, topsy turvy week last week. I think we finished up about levels. Um, yeah, a little bit of hit and miss, I'd say. Uh, got a bit of value this week, actually, funnily enough. I'm um, just looking at a couple of the games, and what I'm thinking, yeah, we, we might be able to get away with one or two things here, and then, you know, you put them together, and the prices aren't bad. We'll start with Southampton Chelsea. <clears throat> Both teams to score. And a goal in each half. I think that Southampton now in a position where they really do need to start to win games of football. Can't afford to sit back uh, at home. Got to go for it. Chelsea, another team, opposite end of the league, but also, you know, really have to, do have to win every game they play in now. So absolutely no reason why these two teams can't go hammering tongs. Uh, nice open game. No one's going to be sitting back. Both teams getting after each other. Both teams to score, goal in each half, 5-2. to two. I think that is really, really good value. 5-2. to two. Both teams to score and a goal in each half, 5-2. to two. These will be going at it, hammer and tongs. Burnley versus Leicester. Let's keep it nice and simple. Burnley having a fantastic run. Uh, Leicester, as we know, decent. It's a uh, nice run up the, uh, up the right way for Leicester. I think this is going to be a score draw at 7-2. There's the value in this one for me. Um, Spurs against Man City. Uh, I'm going to go <clears throat> Spurs plus one. Eight to 15, I'm going to go Newcastle uh, plus one against Arsenal in a double. Uh, that's seven to 10. So Spurs plus one against Man City and Newcastle plus one against Arsenal. Eight to 15, seven to 10 gives us an 11 to four double. Nothing wrong with that as well. 11 to four double. Uh, May United score in each half and win without conceding. I think we finally all realise that West Brom really are as bad as their league position tells us. May not score in each half and they will win this game without conceding. Two to one. Another good value. Good value. Again, can't knock that. Uh, last but not least, West Ham to beat Stoke. Minus one West Ham. Stoke can't draw their way to, to, uh, to safety. Got to let the shackles off. I think West Ham now quite buoyant. Um, I think they've overcome that, you know, the problems that they had, obviously. Uh, decent win against Southampton. And uh, I can see them beating Stoke, um, certainly by more than the goal. So I'm going to take West Ham minus one at 14-5. to five. So they've got to win by two clear goals, but I think I can see them doing that. Stoke cannot keep sitting back. They've got to come forward and they've got to have a go. And I think that could leave them vulnerable. My treble, and this was tough going, by the way. Uh, the treble will be Derby, Wigan and Luton, all going okay. I mean, Derby got beat by Wolves, I know, the other day, but they should win this one away at Burton. Burton got beat five the other night by Hull. I think their season's over. So Derby, Wigan and Luton, and that's 17 to five. So nearly you know, three and a half to one. So 17 to five, Derby, Wigan and Luton. They'll be my bets. I think there's some decent value there. We've had a real good look through, a real good sift through. And I think we've gone for, I think, some, some teams that have got some real chances here. As long as we get the, the open games that we expect at this time of the year, can't see anybody sitting back and not having a pop. So uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that it's open and entertaining. If it is, we won't be far away. Good luck to everyone. See you next week.